There you go. So, just give you a wee bit of an update. I've been thinking about this trans situation that I was sort of stuck on. Um, because this is a 65 trans, it's sort of unique. It's got these two cables. See, it's got the one at the front, which works as a shifter, and the other one that sort of goes in the back there, in the back of the, well, the start of the tail housing, is the park brake. Which is sort of unique to the 60, 64 to the, I think it might have been some of the early ones too, but this is unique in these 65 um, transes. Um, it was sort of the only year they did this with the um, slip, slip yoke, and then after that they all went to the um, linkage system where the kick down lever is there. They had the extra lever on there with, for the shifter, which did park and everything. Um, and because this is a 66, it never had that system, so it doesn't have the rest of the gear to make it work properly. So I've been mean, thinking about it, um, and shortening back, back the outer cables, and trying to make something so I can hold them to um, work off a lever system, a bit like what's on the kick down there, and run a double system, like one through a rod and one through a tube, and run them underneath the um, trans. Um, like they would have been originally on these cars, um, with being right hand drive. So yeah, originally these um, these cars, I'll show you in here, like the shifter rod would have been, you know, somewhere in here underneath. It runs forward to a rod and then it actually runs underneath and then goes back up to the um, column shift to the linkage that hooks onto the column shift, that's what they had like a, a lever system that run underneath. So I'm going to try and devise a way and make one up that's got a, a rod, one in a rod and one in a tube that both rot are able to rotate independently and try and work it so I can get it. So one will do the, the gears, another one when you go so far it'll pull the park brake on and off. So I'm trying to work out see if I can maybe do something to fix that. So I can use this train so I don't have to get rid of that one. Because I can't really afford to buy another one. And I can't afford to buy the four or five hundred dollars worth of cables to even start to get the proper linkages to even set this up. So that's what's going on there. And um, as you can see I've got I've got the doors on this side. Um, I need to take a shim, I'm going to try and take a shim out of the bottom hinge because I had to shim it to make it work properly. Um, but I've got two th big thick shims in there. Um, so I'm going to take one thick one out and I'm going to make a thin one. And this door here, um, that's just sort of quickly bolted on like it's got quite a big gap here at the back. Um, it'd be nice if I could space that back a little bit and sort of possibly probably close to half it because um, the other one's the other side's really close so it needs to go back that way a little bit but this one is sort of almost too big a gap um, so I haven't got this I haven't got any of these lined up properly because I, one I need to get that shim properly on that bottom of that door because it didn't have shims but this, with the car being an axe and I just reckon something's just tweaked and I also had to go find some bolts because um, I had some of the bolts I had. Um, the ends of the threads were all a bit, a bit pulled and a bit, a bit mangled on some of the bolts I had for the doors. Um, but I saw with over time and probably being in an accident and stuff like that. So I had three sort of dicky bolts that I didn't want to use. So I managed to find um, some bolts off on a guy, reasonably local. That's got a um, I think you always say you've got a 48. Um, I think it's a Plymouth or a Dodge Coupe that's got like an 06 um, Hemi in it, and he's also got a um, what would be a Dodge Dart, like a sort of 68, 6, 6, yeah, 67, 68 Dodge Dart in um, America, which was basically a um, VF. VG Valiant Coupe over here with a with a V8 in it. I might see if I can find a couple of photos and just pop them up because they're sweet looking cars, especially the um the 
the Dodge or Plymouth Coupe that's like mid or mid to late forties. It's a beautiful car. So I see how it managed to help me out with a couple of bolts. Um, so yeah, I'm getting there. So yeah, once I get these doors all lined up, I'll start um, body filling the whole side, and I'll block it back with my big, huge, long block that I made up over there. Um, and, I'll, and I'll pull some. Um, probably some 30 grit or, or 36 grit or 40 grit or whatever I, I bought a roll the other day and I'll, I'll actually pull it around the ends and staple it on there I've done it before but it's fine and that'll just that'll give me the initial height for all these and I'll also I'll put the um, I'll bolt the um, the locks temporarily back in and the catches so when I've got everything closed I'll get it right so when they're all closed they should sit all flat so I'm not having to worry about it and then I can actually block down the whole side of the car in one hit just initial, initially to get all the levels right so yeah we're getting there um, so yeah just and to bugger around with this trans I'm, before I get too much further here I'm gonna even though I still haven't got bloody engine mounts yet I'm going to slip it in and I'm going to put a jack underneath it and I'm just going to see how much clearance there is around it because I got the back mount so I'm going to sit that in there and I'm just going to lift it up on a jack with a block or something and just see how it fits and just see whether I think engine mounts and all that sort of stuff will fit and sort of push up as high as I can and get a bit of an eyeball um, I may even bolt block on there and sort of just sit it there and get a ballpark figure and sort of see if I think it's going to work Make sure I haven't got any clearance issues in here before I go too much further. Just in case I need to piss around with this. And then I can I can cut this off and close it up. So yeah, it's about what's happening at the moment. Um, so I'm getting closer and closer with this body. So yeah, I know. Yeah, now I've got some primer on all this. I'll get some seam seal around these drip rails and stuff like that get all them sealed up nicely and and I'll put some seam sealer around this back boot um, or trunk opening and around here where the seams are and originally and I'll smear a bit over where the spot where out of this back in so the water can't get back inside stuff like that and maybe just in a bit around in here just to make sure that's sealed up so no water can get back through in between silly stuff like that alrighty guys cheers